Hey everyone, Black Octagon again. Thanks to your patience as we've been waiting for part four, the final part of this review of the Overlord Tempest OC. Sorry for the delay. Christmas, New Year, and a variety of other things have delayed me, but we are back and in this final part of the review, going to go into some um, a quick overview of what's going on in the world of overclocking these monitors. I'm not going to show you how to do that. There's uh, already plenty of guides online. Scrooby's got two videos showing you how to overclock just showing you that it is indeed uh, possible. Uh, in the current uh, status, my, my monitor is overclocked at 120 hertz. This is just showing you some of the uh, uh, Windows confirmations uh, uh, screenshots showing that the 1440p resolution is enabled, that uh, Windows does recognize 120 hertz once it's been set up, and I've got some other ones set up as well, uh, as well as the uh, AMD Catalyst Control Center. The main uh, software you use after patching your drivers, of course, is ToastyX's custom version of the CRU.exe uh, software. I hope you can see this, but um, what I've got here is just some manual timings I took off the, uh, the, the forum. Someone else had posted them, and they worked perfectly for me. 120 hertz works fine. I don't even get the um, horizontal lines that some people do uh, complain about. So there you go. Uh, if you want to try those timings on your own display, uh, have at it. You may or may not have luck. Uh, every display is different, of course, and every graphics card is different. I myself am running a uh, just a vanilla Sapphire uh, 7970 uh, with a software overclock. Nothing too, n nothing too extreme. Um, one of the big reasons for the delays in getting this video to you is I've been trying to find a way to capture um, um, in-game footage at this um, resolution and refresh rate. Unfortunately, although I can run uh, basic games like Deus Ex Human Revolution quite fine uh, and maintain close to 120 f uh, frames per second averages, when you turn on recording at this resolution and frame rate, that frame rate completely plummets and I've been really struggling with uh, the best way to uh, find some kind of compromise to, to, to show you this uh, this stuff in action. Unfortunately, what I've had to do to pull that off is um, only record at 30 frames per second. So you're going to see that the resolution we've got here is is working. You're going to see that um, the game recognizes 120 hertz, and we're going to also turn on um, uh, the uh, Fraps frame rate counter, which will appear up in the top left um, uh, just as soon as the game starts. Um, you, you're still going to see perhaps uh, lower frame rates than what I would normally get, but at least because I'm only recording in 30 frames per second, um, the frame rate won't be too badly hit, and it should hopefully hover between 16 and 120 frames per second uh, with some uh, graphical details turned down. So sorry about that. Maybe someone else with a better CPU in particular than mine will be able to upload one day raw uh, in-game footage uh, at 120 frames per second for those of you uh, who, who have such monitors. But in the meantime, with me, it's just, um, you know, I'm playing at 120 frames per second, but recording at 30, and we'll just leave it at that, since that's the only thing that YouTube can show you anyway. So, let's go. Let's load up some Deus Ex. Hopefully this is relatively smooth sailing. Okay, with V-Sync on, it's hovering indeed around 120 frames per second up in the top left. I hope you can see that frame rate counter. This game is a good example, even though it's quite, um, you know, um, not too demanding. It does actually have an in-game 120 hertz uh, capability. And it will also show you the resolution as well if I were to switch to full screen. But if I switch to full screen, the uh, recording software I'm using will no longer work. So just please... Take my, um, uh, take what I'm saying uh, without any doubts. This is running uh, as uh, intended to at 1440p. Already the frame rate's a little bit lower than it should be at these resolutions, but uh, uh, better than if I try to record at 120 frames per second. Let's see how this goes. Okay, 90. Sixty. Blah, 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 60, 60, 60, back to 70. Again, normally at 100, this is much, much, much smoother, but you're not seeing the improved smoothness anyway 
remember that even though there is this uh, frame rate counter in the top left you are only seeing a maximum of 30 frames per second because that's what YouTube has but as you can see uh, we've got this uh, in this case running up to about 90 frames per second and when this is um, uh, not recording as I said it hovers up towards the 120 frames per second point quite often uh, maybe you can't see it um, from what you're looking at but I guarantee you what's on my screen right now is very smooth indeed no mouse lag no stutter uh, very 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 good smoothness indeed and uh, if you haven't yet experienced 120 hertz gaming I can only recommend that you get in on it either by using these monitors or a uh, native 1080p monitor uh, that runs at 120 hertz like the Samsung uh, and compared this uh, this overlord to so that's all there really is to show you unfortunately um, this would go on for quite some time but as you can see we do have uh, with it the, the the frame rate maxing out it is going to the 120 frames per second showing you that the 120 Hertz uh, setting is being recognized by the game um, so there you have it I mean not too impressive on the in-game uh, uh, video front but I hope you can uh, appreciate the slight dilemma I'm in um, uh, there was really no other way for me to do this uh, unfortunately but all in all the important thing is this monitor did work as advertised and in fact more so because the 120 Hertz is never guaranteed of course I was guaranteed a monitor with an overclockable PCB and uh, with some very very easy steps following some advice on the forum and elsewhere uh, I was able to get it up to 120 Hertz and when I'm not recording games for you all to see I can guarantee you this is an absolute beauty to play uh, when maintaining say 90 to 120 frames per second at this resolution um, and that's basically all there is to it if you haven't been convinced yet to jump on this bandwagon you really uh, should decide now because uh, this is I hope the future of uh, where gaming is going so I hope this has been of use to you I've certainly been delighted with this monitor happy to answer any uh, additional questions you might have either in the YouTube comments or on the Overlord forums um, uh, Black Octagon signing off thanks a lot guys and happy gaming bye